Roger Caselno, who's a former uh, member of parliament uh, for the Labour Party. He also joins us live from London. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So let me ask you, as a former member of parliament yourself, what do you make of this unprecedented territory that we've entered? Well, we are in unprecedented uh, territory, and this is not just about whether Britain remains a member of the European Union or not. It's also about whether we have a country that is prepared to respect democracy, the rule of law, and human rights. So um, this, is, this is an issue, should be an issue of international concern. It's very serious and it's completely unprecedented. Indeed it is. Uh, your party in the opposition, I mean, arguably, should have, you know, an upper hand of sorts, given the kind of humiliation uh, that we saw the Attorney General and Boris Johnson actually face uh, after the, the Supreme Court ruled against them in their suspension of Parliament. But, but do you think the opposition and the Labour Party has the upper hand? Well, they certainly have the cards in their hand. Um, and they have a few trump cards, but some of them they've already torn up. They, they, what happens next does depend on the opposition, on the Labour Party, on Jeremy Corbyn. Um, and I think he should call a, um, a vote of no confidence as soon as possible, and that there should be a, a government of national unity that sorts Brexit out. I think Johnson needs to go as soon as possible. I think what John, what's in Corbyn's mind is he wants to give Cor Johnson probably a little bit more rope he wants uh, uh, Johnson to be able to, um, well, to resign or to continue and make even more of a mess in a sense, so that uh, that will play more to, in, 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 into the favour of uh, the Labour Party subsequently. But I think that's a very risky, a very dangerous game. I think they should move as quickly as possible to remove the Johnson government. Okay, Roger Casal joining us there from London. Thanks uh, so much for that.